What's going on guys? It is 3D Print Dude. Today I'm going to show you how to add a pause in Orca Slicer. I repeat, I'm going to show you how to add a pause in Orca Slicer. Step number one is to obviously open Orca Slicer. Step number two is to bring in your file. Let me minimize my face here a little bit. Then once you have completely finished your file and you have it ready to print, all you have to do next is click on the preview tab and take a look at your print here or the file and see what it looks like. Then what we have to do is go over to this tab over here where it shows you the layers and, 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 and move the print so you can see the layers going from bottom to top, right, as it prints. So then next what you wanna do down is we need, to, we need to figure out where you need to add the pause in the layering. Maybe you wanna switch colors. So I'm gonna do it halfway through this tray. And then what you do, once you have that at the spot where it needs to be, right click where it's right on the plus there, and then click add pause. And then the next step what you need to do is go on up here in the right hand corner and then click on splice plate again because it has to re it has to re-slice it because it has to add G code to it. And you'll notice once it's ready, you can do print plate and then you can you can uh, like if we go back to this prepare tab and then back to preview, you can see here there is now a pause in here, right over here, and you can see it in the G-code. Hopefully this helped you learn how to add a pause in Orca Slicer. Hit me up in the comments if you have any more questions, and consider subscribing, guys. I'm obsessed with 3D printing.